Have you put much thought into why you need your EGR valve? It's a critical component of your EGR system. It takes a ton of abuse due to its environment. Oftentimes people choose to delete it because of a problem it can cause to your engine and your VGT turbo. But this can actually end up costing you even more money in the long run. Since being introduced into the diesel industry, the EGR valve track record hasn't been impressive. However, manufacturers are now building more durable, reliable EGR valves than in the past. We're going to take you through how this system works and why it's important to keep it functioning on your diesel engine. Since the EGR valve is in the exhaust stream, it has a good chance of getting damaged or clogged from debris over the years. That debris can also harm the other downstream components in your diesel engine and will affect your performance. Failing EGR valves are known for producing symptoms such as rough idle, excessive smoke, increased fuel consumption, derated engine performance, and a check engine light. These symptoms of a failing EGR valve are results of the valve being stuck open or closed due to carbon buildup. If the EGR valve is stuck closed, the flow of exhaust gases will be blocked and create an increase in NOx gas, which will create engine knocking. If the EGR valve is stuck open, you may experience rough idling, poor acceleration, even stalling. When stuck open, all the exhaust gas cycles back into the chamber, meaning there's not enough oxygen for combustion to take place. The air to exhaust ratio is compromised. Too much fuel will be put into the cylinder and more carbon will be produced. That carbon builds up in the cylinders, cycles back to the EGR valve, or travels to the variable geometry turbo and damages its internal components. While dealing with either scenario, you'll likely be faced with a derated engine performance. The longer you run your engine, the less power is produced until it can no longer run. As an answer to these problems, you're faced with two options. Replace the EGR valve and perform routine maintenance, or remove the EGR valve. Deleting the EGR valve is a very risky move that can cause reoccurring problems down the road. First, it's illegal to remove or delete the components from the engine, and the cost to fix the EGR valve correctly is far less than paying a five-figure fine. What do we do with EGR valves? What's the best approach? EGR valve maintenance is the best approach to help prevent these symptoms. The diesel industry has not been fully accepting of the EGR valve or the EGR system due to its history. Instead of performing regular maintenance on the EGR system, deleting is preferred. Put in the time and get your EGR system cleaned out. Replace components that have failed or are about to fail. This should be conducted on a regular schedule such as oil change or greasing your kingpins. If you need a replacement EGR valve, be sure to check out Highway and Heavy Parts to keep your diesel engine legal. Have your engine serial number ready for faster ordering. Be sure to like the video and smash the subscribe button to stay up to date with HHP on YouTube. If you have any questions on today's video, submit a comment below or chat with us on highwayandheavyparts.com. Or you can talk to me or any of the other service techs at Highway and Heavy Parts at 844-447-1453. From diagnosis through delivery, we're Highway and Heavy Parts.